It has been recorded that you kept good company with the traitor Claudius. Others have chosen to remain silent to a desperate penalty. You, on the other hand, have the glorious opportunity to serve Rome and not betray yourself. You were friends with Claudius. Yes. To the best of your knowledge, please describe in detail the events surrounding your friend Claudius's death. Marcus. The almighty Herod has bestowed upon us safety for this dangerous time of celebration. No longer will we suffer under the oppression of the sheep and the goats. They found equals in these large men carrying spears and swords. Come down from there. Come up from there. I see we are equally armed. Go ahead. Save this city from my deviant tongue. Come down this moment. You there, climb down from there. This does not involve you. I'm confused, soldier. Have you come to keep the peace or incite a riot? You've made your point. We best be on our way. Yes, you best be on your way. <laughs> you mock Caesar for the sake of a lunatic beggar. How dare you belittle he who clothes you and, and feeds you? Eat this, Rome! <laughs> you, go! You may consider yourself officially on duty. Because of a harmless man's jokes? You best keep opinions to yourself, soldier. Regardless of what you and I think, we have a sworn duty. Claudius. I beg your pardon? Not soldier, Claudius. Marcus, welcome to Jerusalem. Too. You're not one for formal introductions, are you, Claudius? I believe in getting to the point where you are assigned to execution. That's not what I asked. But it is what you meant. Quite to the point. Not my execution, I would hope. No, a Jewish hero. Executed just in time to begin the Jewish celebration. There's Roman thinking in that. I, on the other hand, have a day off. I hate you already. You barely know my name. I don't know any of these Jews' names. They're my worst enemies. And they have the whole weekend off. Five years in the academy and I'm assigned guard duty at a tomb. Tell me again exactly why was this man executed? You weigh yourself down with trivial information. It's not our place to ask questions. You saw what I saw? Yeah. And you weren't bothered? 
The only thing that will bother me is if we aren't compensated for two nights of extra duty. I've never seen such passion. I mean, to see one of your own people die was almost like a celebration. People don't seem to take too well to false messiahs. I'll never understand why Jerusalem doesn't simply find solace in the strength of Caesar. And who's to say Caesar won't suffer the same fate? Rome will far outlast the superstitions of the Jews. Or at least as long as that coin lasts in your purse. Do you betray Caesar? I only acknowledge that he'll someday be forgotten. Sure. Yeah. And Rome will burn. talk about. I began to suspect he had a darker side. Did you suspect illness? Mental? Please, continue. No one can think straight after being on duty that length of time. It was your first day. Before you continue spouting your theories, I suggest you get some sleep. Sleep? You're not the same person I met three days ago. Over and over the same images. You say sleep as if it's that simple. I wish I could sympathize with you, but this whole mess bought me another day off. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. We arrived at the tomb and they dismissed us. They? You know, uh... Captain, a couple of guys from your unit, a chief priest, some other religious men. Chief priest? Come to think of it, it was rather interesting to see them fraternizing with Roman soldiers in broad daylight. But I suppose when a prisoner is missing, it's going to cause quite a stir, especially a criminal like that. What makes you so sure he was a criminal? Sympathizing again? Claudius, it doesn't look good for a new transfer in occupied territory. He didn't fight, he didn't plead. It's one thing to torture a belligerent murderer who would just as soon do the same to you. Do you know what he said when we dropped the post into position? The prisoner played on your emotions and you fell for it. It happens. Who was there for my unit? Julian. Seneca, Leo, Pantera, Cleon, Titus, Octavian. That's everyone. But you, you were out cold. Or so they say. What do you mean, or so they say? You weren't prepared for the kind of work that goes on here in Jerusalem. But that's the key. It's your work, your duty, nothing more. So quit thinking. And sleep. It's not your fault. Why would it be my fault? Claudius, 
I believe you. But the prisoner has escaped. Escaped? That's ridiculous. He'd been dead for almost three days. The story is that some chief priests bribed the soldiers to say that some followers stole the body. While we were on duty. Well, they said you were asleep. No, we weren't. I wasn't. That's a lie. What guard would admit to being asleep? It's punishable by death. I know. I know. That's why they sent me home. I'm the scapegoat. It's only a rumor. A rumor that could get me killed. This was the child at the execution. Leave us, please. Isaac. You are unarmed. Where is the body? We've heard only rumors. Tell me. Tell me. I was on duty there. I know. No. I was there at the tomb 
What have you done with the body? Tell me. I don't know where he is. <sighs> no one stole that body. It was an earthquake. And a light that came from everywhere. And then I... I just can't remember. You were there. Still am. It haunts me. I have to know what happened. If you were friends with this man, look, I know I'm not like you, and you have every reason to be suspicious of me. But this is something I just can't explain. His eyes. I've never seen such powerful eyes. Innocent eyes. I killed him. I killed an innocent man. It was my duty. I know. I don't understand. Why would he chase a Jewish child? He recognized him. And do the Roman guard make it a habit of recognizing Jewish children? We are hardly referencing the entire Roman guard, sir. We are speaking of a lone, deranged man. My mistake. You're rambling, Marcus. At what point did you begin to doubt his allegiance to Rome? I'm getting there. I'll get there quickly. What precisely drew him to the child? I don't have that information. I need that information. Well, then I suppose you'll have to ask Claudius. Just answer their questions. Don't elaborate. Why? Can't you obey orders? Just yes and no. So how did you arrange his meeting anyway? The commander is a personal friend of a friend of mine. He assured me that if you will just cooperate, this whole thing will be dropped. But how did you... Don't ask. I'm not taking a bribe, and I'm not saying I was asleep. Some say he was the awaited messiah. And that's the kind of thing you're not going to say in there. I can tell anything but the truth. Spoken like a true Roman. Send them in. Marcus. Captain. Claudius, you are known as an outstanding young man who serves the interest of Rome. You know why you're here, so please, for the captain, recount what happened to you while on duty last night. For the captain, Recount what happened to you while on duty last night. That won't be necessary. It is obvious what has happened here. We would all agree that under certain circumstances, we are subject to inventing fantasies, especially when one is asleep, as your fellow soldiers have attested. You are officially dismissed from the Legion. Sir, I beg an explanation. This is not what was discussed. Let me make myself clear, soldier. This is a military establishment, not a pro-council hearing. You were dismissed. Execute me. That can be arranged. Or I'm sorry, you only execute religious criminals these days. Would you excuse us for a moment?
Do you suppose that I have never encountered a soldier that has disagreed with my philosophy? That you're the only crusader whining for the oppressed? This is the anthem of today's military youth. <laughs> but when you are old, dear Claudius, and mind you, we all grow old, all you will remember are how a few choice words stated with conviction were the downfall of your entire career. With that in mind, why don't we rethink your response? The chief priest should be demanding our execution as well. The prisoner is gone, we were on duty. But instead of having us arrested, they bribe us. Do you want to die? Become a hero? I want the truth. We fight for the same things, young Claudius. Gentlemen. Justice, safety. The protection of our people. You, of course, politically. We, spiritually. But you Romans do not have an understanding of my people. We are attempting to spare you much grief in regards to the implications of perpetuating this unlikely tale of a little man's claim to resurrection. But we find this difficult while you refuse to close your mouth. All of Roman rule is threatened by one little man. How difficult is it, Claudius, to remain silent? The sect could cause many problems in Jerusalem, which would spread throughout the country, jeopardizing Roman rule. So it's a political decision? He was brought to fair trial, sentenced by Pontius Pilate. I know that. I was there. I want to know more than what I saw. I want to know what happened. Of course you do. And so do we. All we're asking is that you keep this incident to yourself until we've had time to observe the sect. Now that the followers have stolen the body, attempting some kind of validity to their messiah, we fear matters could escalate. The truth, soldier, is that you're the only one in the entire Golgotha detail who hasn't admitted you were asleep. No one believes your clever story of an earthquake. I saw what I saw. I challenge anyone who says otherwise. So this is what justice has come to. A competition. Who can invent the most believable truth? Who are you against the entire Roman legion? Just tell me the truth, and you can return to duty. What were your thoughts concerning this mistreatment of poor Claudius? At the time, I was unaware of his previous mental condition. Mental condition? In Rome. The very reason he was transferred. How did you come about that knowledge? You know full well, sir. It came from you. Oh, yes. The memory does get cloudy when one hasn't slept. A mental condition is quite a secret for a friend. To keep it hidden from those who fight at your side would almost seem dishonest. How did that make you feel? How did that make me feel? Let the exercise commence. 
I'm sorry, Marcus. I can't betray the truth, regardless of how popular. Truth, is it? Hey! Claudius, find your blind spot. Yes, truth. Can I ask you a hypothetical question? Could it wait? I think it has waited long enough! Hey! Tutor row for Marcus. Watch your form, soldier. Say someone has your back. My back? I don't understand. Like right now. I train with you, I fight with you, I do so to ensure your safety. What about this person? Say he has a passion for truth! Do you know someone of the sort? I believe I do. Yes! Good. Good one. Continue. Suppose further that the truthful one holds secrets that could very well prove dangerous to the one who has it back. I feel that a true friend would find it disadvantageous to keep such tragedy a secret. Don't you think so, Claudius? How dare you threaten me? How dare you kill your partner? Defense. And did he? Did he scream? Was there a family? It's only an exercise, Marcus. And what would happen if the knife were in my throat? You would live. Jesus the Christ. You weren't there, were you? Yes. And at the tomb? Yes. We've heard that you have a story. There are many stories. We want to hear yours. Who sent you? A friend. He assured us that you seek the truth. He has been seen. The body? Alive. Alive? He's dead. I killed him myself. <laughs> you must come. Soon. And alone. Where? The garrison. And you didn't see him again until he came back to the garrison. This is what I've already told you. Then where did he go following the sparring incident? We were hardly friends any longer, sir. I made no record of his whereabouts. Perhaps we haven't made ourselves plain. Claudius's location in those few hours is the primary interest of this discussion. And perhaps I haven't made myself plain. I can't help you. Continue then. 
from the garrison. You're already late for duty, Julian. You've been a good friend. It was the seventh month of our assignment. And Rome was a place of frequent celebration. As we passed by a particularly drunken fight, I heard a child's voice through a mountain of angry men. Tertius came in after me to watch my back. We found the child cowering underneath the bread table. His father didn't take too kindly to our rescue effort. We quickly became the objects of their rage. It was then that I was thankful for my military training. Hands came from everywhere, choking the life out of me. I kept that child's hand in mine and headed for the door. The fire in the oven reflected off of what I knew to be by intuition sword. So I drew mine and cut the air. Tertius. You have two children. I'm not insane, but I'm also not made up of the same material as the Roman Empire. The thoughts of killing an innocent man are what I came here to escape. Only to be ordered to do it again. And that is exactly why I can't let it lie, Marcus. When I drew blood from this man, this Messiah, his eyes read my mind. I knew all the pain I was feeling, all the pain I'd ever felt, it was nothing. You have heard his dying words. I have heard there was thunder. Forgive them. Forgive who? Me. Admiring your handiwork. What are you doing here? It seems our man Claudius, an escalating headache for my people, I assure you, was seen with the eleven themselves. I thought there were twelve. Eleven. What do you expect me to do? I apologize. I was expecting you to do your job and control your men. If they become a threat to the city, shall I go above your head? You've crushed that man's spirit already. Did you ruin his life as well? It seems as if your priorities are leaning toward the better of the one rather than the better of the whole. That can't be right. I'll send my men to follow him. As you wish, Captain. I haven't been able to escape this pain, Marcus. But if you find this man, I think I'll find my answer. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe he is dead. I can't see you chasing after a corpse. So this is goodbye. You realize that walking into that room is walking into your own grave. All the more reason to say goodbye. I hope you find what you're looking for. Don't hope. Pray. So I told him if he didn't report to his superiors within the next hour, I would be forced to see that justice was served in regard to his blatant defiance. Then why didn't you? There was no need. As you said, you sent your spies yourself. What occurred in the disciples' quarters? That is where the mystery will remain, sir. No one has ever seen him again. He 
he simply disappeared like a dead body. You wouldn't have any reason to be dishonest with us, would you, Marcus? I don't see how it would serve my country or myself. And isn't that what is most important? So you have heard nothing, seen nothing, and been given no information regarding what happened behind that closed door? Nothing at all, sir. I swear it by Caesar. May I ask whom you wish to see? Open the door now. May I enter? You come alone? Yes. We have another seeker who wishes to join us. It is all right. He seeks answers. And in that, we are equals. And he has a story to tell. I wasn't supposed to work that night. I'd worked over the Sabbath and was very tired. I'd been on duty since Friday afternoon. I remember your face. You were on the hill. I was assigned to Golgotha duty. I didn't ask for it. I was assigned to it. Why are you here? you to tell me. Why would he come to me? I killed him. We all deserted him. We left him to face this injustice alone. It wasn't supposed to end like this. So we fled. In fear, in embarrassment, angry. So why are you still here? Why don't you just go home? If you'd seen him do what we've seen him do, you would stay too. I've seen enough. We saw an angel. He told us that Jesus was not here. He told us that Jesus was no longer dead. And it's true. It's like he said he would. Like he said he would? More than once. But we didn't understand. We didn't believe. John, you were there at the tomb. Tell them. Well, Peter and I saw the tomb. It was open and empty. 
We didn't see Jesus. Who was this man? Who was this Jesus? Is there any doubt? I saw him. I saw him risen from the dead. He's who he said he was. He's the Son of God. Impossible. Let her speak. Why would he let them kill him if he was the Son of God? Why must it make sense for us to believe? Free to go. That is quite accurate, you know. What is that, soldier? How difficult the sun can be when you've sat in darkness long enough. That will be all. One more thing. Oh? What is it? What story will be given in regard to Claudius' whereabouts? We don't believe that's any of your concern. I may be asked, and as a friend, I should be one to know. Suffice it to say that another Roman citizen ended his life falling prey to the enticements of the enemy. Dying like a good soldier. The best. Then that is what I will say. Unless, of course, you have something to add. No, sir. Not to the best of my knowledge.